if you have $500 in excess cash flow, what are you doing with it now? And they might say, I got kids, I got hobbies, or I got bills, or I'm putting it to my 401k. Then that's something that I'm going to teeter on because I'm going to press on what they're most comfortable with and what they're most familiar with as opposed to opening up ideas. D, how do you sell a client who is going through a refi and you use the savings, the refi monthly going back to a 30 year fix and putting into savings account with a return of 6%? Yeah, that's pretty deep, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky is one of the students that I mentor in the program. And I think what you're trying to say is, you know, how do you talk them into using that savings and, and kind of reinvest, right? Into other avenues that you can actually get a little bit more return. If that's the case, then the real question is kind of understanding what they do with their cash flow now. And so in other words, are they even investing period? Because I'm not trying to open up an idea that they're not comfortable with, or they're not currently doing now. So I'm going to ask them certain questions like, if you have $500 in excess cash flow, what are you doing with it now? And they might say, I got kids, I got hobbies, or I got bills, or I'm putting it to my 401k. Then that's something that I'm going to teeter on because I'm going to press on what they're most comfortable with and what they're most familiar with, as opposed to opening up ideas. But if you have a savings account that turns back 6%, please believe, let me know, DM me. You know, let me know what savings account is giving you 6% return. Man, I got some cash I'm gonna throw in that account for real, for real. <laughs> but don't try to open up an idea that's foreign to them because people don't like change. They don't like something that's different from what they're used to because then they'll overthink it. So you really got to understand what they're doing right now and help them improve that action. So if they're taking their cash flow right now and they're putting it in retirement or they're putting it in investments or they're putting it anywhere else, then the idea is, well, how can I show you to put more on the flip side? Cause a lot of people don't got extra cash flow, especially right now. So a lot of people don't got cash flow. What they're trying to look for is cash flow so they could breathe. And so the idea is, okay, well, how can I help you breathe more? Right. And so if you only got a you know, 50 bucks or hundred dollars in cash flow, how can I turn that to 500? How can I help you so much to where you don't got to stay up all night, right. And worry about next month's bills. And so I think that really is the idea.